One, two, three, take a deep breath in. I am so overwhelmed with the idea that somebody in this room has the feeling that they've been unjustified for the sense of thinking that their truth is a lie. The fact that so many have stood by and watched as their heads have turned and looked away, the idea that our truth is not enough of a reason to stand still. Not so much to induce movement or even the idea of being able to speak on things that we have no idea about because the media has distorted all remnants of the essence of what reality is, but just the idea that it's not enough. One life, not two. Or well, the 14 children that we actually remember their names or the parents that we have to think about to this day and they have to play on Thursday when they set that plate forgetting that they're not coming to that table. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And we have lost all remnants of sensitivity. Our society is desensitized because we haven't tried hard enough mm -hmm. to not turn our heads and be practiced at this bullshit. But sometimes that bullshit be the most that we need for us to grow. Think about every remnant of hardship you've had to experience is to realize that once you've had nothing, having anything would be sufficient. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Yeah. Is it not until our pockets become empty that having that penny on the floor of our bed underneath the rails or maybe the air mattress or something that you have to lay your head on it, that'd be just enough because you think that there's enough hope because maybe some people think that the spirits have actually given you a reason not to let go or perhaps one more pill, one more sip, one more taste of something, just to make you feel like it's not it. It being this last moment in time that we have to find ourselves to. And proof like that, we have to think that there are people sitting next to us who believe that this issue is about racism. But the race has nothing to do with our pigments, let alone our melanin. So much of the indifference is the fact that we are no different. The fear that you have of letting your children go outside tomorrow is the fact that you allow someone to be empowered by something they have no choice to do. Mm -hmm. Some people have given in to being taught to act like fools. Mm -hmm. Being taught to act like fools because they use tools that someone else gave them not realizing the tools within them were enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enough. And sometimes we've had enough to the sense of being able to realize that sometimes time is insufficient. I could only have three minutes with you and maybe you could actually go home to your families and realize that before you go to sleep tonight, don't just pray for the bed bugs night to light. Pray for those who have followed the fools, who have followed the rules of those who planted those seeds in those books. You can't give a fool a book. Remember that. They'll believe anything they read. So I proceed. Pray for Ferguson. And then pray for Houston. And pray for Africa and the Middle East. Pray for Israel. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your mother. Pray for the dead. Pray for yourself. Because everything that has always been put into view to make you feel distorted or confused was just purpose to do that. And it's not so much of what we have to lack to think we don't have enough. It's the fact that we have to be able to accept what we can't change. We can't bring them back. But we can continue using those hashtags, not because it's what's trending, but because it means something. Like bring our girls back, or who your family is, and knowing that Scott took something with his son, it's beautiful how that is. And there's something so much more deeper than the idea of you being able to realize that sometimes your silence is insufficient. Sometimes you have to stand in position. Sometimes you have to do what they didn't sometimes. You have to accept what you didn't think you could. Sometimes your strength comes from your weaknesses. Sometimes you have to really dig deeper. Dig deeper to the point that you have to realize to let go, you have to hold on to something like values, sentiments, some type of moral, some kind of common sense. And though it's not common, common sense will lead you somewhere. So perhaps if you could listen to the mouths of children who have such simplicity when they say things like, how come we can't pray for the devil too? Pray they be released from the chains that have slayed them slay them, enslave them to think that they would never be free from being the evil remnants of what we want to blame. But some of us don't have that ability because we have to put the light on them. Not wanting to be burdened with the idea that we're responsible too. Responsible because we too have turned our heads. You've heard those screams of those children, the neighbors, those noises. <laughs> you even get mad at traffic. It's your responsibility to react in a different sense that Maybe you would be able to, I don't know, 
shed light on a truth that nobody else knew. Like how you have been experiencing a racism issue, but not so much of a black or white or a Latino and Indian, more so like a, you're racing, not knowing where you're going. Mm. You're fighting, not knowing what for. Sometimes this issue is something you can't even deploy. You can't even explore the idea of what racism is because you don't know what anything else is besides what they told you in those books. Mm. You never thought about second looks. Your glimpses are always shaded, jaded. Your view, not clear. And it's ridiculous to me how so many of us come into rooms like these and not realize that the seeds have been planted. So when you go home tonight and you pray, you meditate, you worship, you do whatever it is that's worth it to make sure that you don't go home and feel stupid. Mm -hmm. Stupid because you chose to be ignorant. No offense to anybody in this room, but understand that there's essence in that issue of knowing and being responsible. Hannah. Where's Hannah? Hannah? Right here. What was that, um, you said, uh, somebody said, uh, I can't see you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so you said that you, you watched something and they were, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And they said, you can't um, act like you don't know. You know what I'm talking about? You don't even know. Yes! Okay. You don't remember? Hannah's. Yeah, I'm this price. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, anybody seen Hotel Rwanda? Yes. Right. Yes. So you know the issue of like the the, the yearning for for freedom and and relief of knowing that you and these cameras are going to go out and speak on the behalf of those who can't shout. No. So those of you with the cameras who have the ability to tag, hashtag, subtweet, retweet, whatever, and let those who didn't know they had the ability just to show up and stand for something so much more positive than rioting and bullshitting about, oh, this is an issue, or oh, I'm so burdened, but you have no idea what it's like to be burdened by losing life and it not being anything more than a race issue. Wow. When after that's died over, his mother still needs tissue. Mm -hmm. Can't even let people mourn the loss of their children because you want to get on TV mm -hmm. and talk about what society is supposed to be okay. And I'm not at all trying to touch on the subject of what happened last night because it's just a little too much for me in my mouth. But don't be afraid is what I'll leave you with. And I understand that everything happens with reason. And regardless of the books that you practice to follow, that's in them. We have not been given spirits and fear, let alone have to worry about things we don't know or the things we won't hear. You don't have to listen to everything they say, let alone myself, but please understand that love is enough. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we don't think about that, but you think about on Sundays for those who go to church for communions and that little cracker, <laughs> when you're hungry, <laughs> enough, it be enough. <laughs> <laughs> like in real life. Like, in real life, <laughs> that, that cracker be enough. <laughs> there, there's a hunger that doesn't exist until your spirit craves a fulfillment. And you might not find that in a church unless you go to St. John's downtown. I'm sorry. But it's not until your spirit and your soul, mind, body, and heart are all at one time yearning for that fulfillment <coughs> that even a bite would be enough. Yeah. Love. Just that. I love you. And it has absolutely nothing to do with it.